Good afternoon, everyone. Everyone, I'm going to have to find me another spot to sit when I am recording. This is horrible, all that busyness in the background. I try to get it out, but there, listen. Nope, not quite then. I would have to lean or I have to move my chair, which I mean, I'm going to get, I'm going to get up in, a, I'm going to get up in a minute. I think I'm talking in my sleep right about now. I did go to the store, and I did get, I will show you my junk food. Well, I got some cookies I already opened. I had some skins I already opened. And, and I got the plain skins. And I got my dinner rolls. I've never had this kind before. Uh... Martin's uh, Dutch. It says sweet dinner roll, dinner potato rolls. I don't really care that much for the sweet rolls. See, that's what I get for not reading. But I haven't tried them yet, so don't knock if you haven't tried it. Got me a musketeer, of course. I'm not going to eat that today. And I did get my two boxes of Cheerios. And I got my heat going on in here. Why, I ask? It's hot. It is so hot outside. I mean, you know, the only thing I wore when I went outside was a sweat. Well, I had a short sleeve top on, and I had a, a sweater, you know, a cardigan on. That's how warm it was when I went out. And, you know, it was beautiful. I did not go get my coffee, but I did get me a nap, and I did get me some more water. I got a 24 water. And I think that's all I got. I think that was about $38 worth of stuff, y'all. It don't take long to spend money, that's for sure. Because, you know, after that um, uh, incident about the guy, you know, that did all this shooting and stuff, I was a little skeptical about going out. But I said I can't let fear. You know, fear has torment. If you're afraid, you know, which I'm, I've always said that I'm afraid to fly. I'm afraid to go on a cruise. I'm afraid I might panic. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm missing out on a lot of things because I'm fearful of those things. I've never been on a boat, never been inside of an airplane. I would like to, but not to go, up, you know, not to fly. I would just like to see the inside of it. So how's the AAG team doing this afternoon? I hope you're doing well as me. I feel rested and I've got to work to do in my kitchen today. Well, this afternoon, what's left of it? Because it, it is already three o'clock and uh, I don't know what I'm going to eat. I think I'm just going to scrap around and find something. No cooking for me. Oh, that's right. I got a little piece of pork chop and a little, a little bit more rice. I forgot about that. That's what I had last night. And so I think that's what I'm going to have again today. But, you know, nothing spectacular. Tomorrow I may cook a nice, you know, something nice for myself. But I don't cook, like I said before, I don't cook every day. I, I, after my kids got grown, uh-uh, no, those things that I used to do. I'm on easy street right about now. I don't feel that I have to. I don't have a man in my life. I got me in my life. That's it. Just me, myself, and I. What I, it's all about me now. Yeah, it's all about me. If I want to cook, I cook. If I want to clean, I clean. If I don't, I don't. And if I won't, I won't. But I try to keep it decent, you know, halfway decent. I got to take my trash out. But <coughs> I saw one of my, na my neighbors when I came home from the store. I was going to, I was coming home, and she, you know, she's the one that was telling me about the rise on the school, and she was hollering across the street to me, I'm waving, and I said, she says, uh, I said, where are you going? She said, I'm going to stop and shop, and I said, well, hey, I just left there. I thought she was going to stop by here when she got off, but I guess she just kept on down. She lived right down, the, you know, on the corner from me, and so she must have just kept on going. But anyway, I probably would, if she did stop, I probably would sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, you already know I gotta have me a nap or two. 
But I'm feeling much rested now, so I'm going to do a little something, something, if not a lot of something, something. Like, that, like my mother used to always say, just do a little bit each day. You know, you just do something each day. And you'll find that your, your you know, the t uh, housekeeping that you find, like you feel like it's so overwhelming. If you just do a little each day, it won't seem that way. And it's true. It is true. Don't go say, well, you know, wait till your stuff pile up. Uh, you know, it's just like washing dishes, okay? If you skip washing dishes, which I have a, wa a dishwasher, I don't, like I said before, I don't uh, use a dishwasher. I got my dishwasher for storage, but I'm going to use it uh, just to run it, you know, because I haven't run it for a while. And uh, just, you know, let it go through a wash or something. Maybe the next time I get some dishes, I'll just, you know, run it through. But, like I say, you yeah, know, the world wasn't made in a day, and if you let your stuff pile up, you'll start to feel overwhelmed. Like my daughter, uh, she's getting ready to uh, move, I think, this month. She says the end of the month. Now, she should be home packing instead of coming over here. But the thing is, you, got, you, you don't pack up just, say, one day. You do this all along. Like when I, got, when I moved here or when I moved anywhere, I started packing once I got my key. She gave me my key, which I had out, you know, she had already told me they had an apartment. It just had to be fixed up and everything like this here. And then uh, I started packing that day. The same day she told me. I think I was so anxious to move until I just got started. I packed all my pots and my pans, but I put them, you know, in, uh, somewhere that I would have easy access to them. You know, like what I use most, like a, maybe a pot or a pan, or something like that. I put that on top. I packed all those dishes because usually I don't hardly use any dishes anyway. I just use paper plates, start that. And I take all my clothes, you know, that's hanging in the closet, open up a sheet, hang them in all, lay them in there, tie that sheet up, she ready. And then, but now I think I got a few more clothes than I had because I threw away a lot of clothes when I, you know, when I moved, uh, not the last time, but the time before that. I threw away a lot of clothes and they had like a table down, you know, downstairs, like on the first floor because I lived in the high rise uh, elderly building, supposedly. But when I moved in that building, I was only 46 years old. And then there was some more people uh, in there. The same age as me, because me and one girl went to school together. And then I had a cousin. He was even younger than me moved up in that building. I don't know if it's because they were renovating some other area. You know, sometimes when they renovate in another area, they'll just move people where they can fit them at. And so that's how that happened. But I put the clothes, you know, down there in the table on the ooh, that nasty looking octopus. I put the <laughs> I put the clothes down there on the table, you know, like in the laundry room. And this is where a lot of people would put things, you know, if they were decent that you could wear, they could wear or something like that there. You put them down there and people would look through them, see if there's anything they could use. You know, same thing with like canned goods, stuff like that. And so that's what I did. But I started that, I mean, way before they, uh, you know, told me I could move. I didn't get my key until, the, I think, the day before I moved. But my stuff was ready. I had the boxes packed up. And I did have to keep going in the box. You know, I had, like I said, I kept my pots and pans open so I could get my pot. Because I had, I cooked more then than I did now. Because I had more company then. You know, my grandkids would stop over. My daughter, you know, and stuff. they stop over. Sometimes uh, food would be cooking in the morning. <laughs> I would cook, you know, I'd start cooking if I was planning to cook. I would cook early in the morning, start cooking early in the morning. So by lunchtime, hey, I want to eat and lunch and dinner at the same time. Oh, uh, yeah. But like I said, she's, she needs to get her stuff together. Decide what she going to take and decide what she's not going to take. And so I guess that's what she's doing today. But the 31st, if you think about it, what's the day? My mother's, my mother's birthday was yesterday. Wait a minute. 
Was, yeah, it was. It's right there. My mother's birthday was yesterday. She would have been 97 years old. Well, she, you know, it's probably still 97. I don't know. I don't know what happens, you know, when you go on to be with the Lord. I don't know if you live on. Depends on how you live in your life. And I'm not sure about that, y'all. The only thing I know, the Bible said all oh, souls are mine. But anyway, we ain't going there. We ain't going there, y'all. Because I got things, like I said, I got things to do, and I got to do it before the sun go down and everything like that. And I'm changing my clothes two times. I don't know why I do that. I don't. I really don't. I got to figure that out. I got to do something. I actually got to do something about it. I think it's because these things have been packed in the in the uh, closet, and I haven't worn them. So now that it's fall, I drag them out. <clears throat> Long sleeve. I told you that'd be cold. It'd be cold in my house. And you know what? This is more like a. Now see that's showing up cranberry, but it's really more like a burgundy, purplish. Bur I don't know. But anyway. I'm not going to change clothes anymore. When I change clothes, the next time I'm going to be put on a t-shirt and you jump in the bed. That's how I sleep, y'all. But I got some long, you know, night shirts that I got from, um, where are I getting them from? Well, it's either Walmart or Amazon. So Walmart and Amazon. I got, like, night, long night shirts that I wear sometimes, you know, in the bed. I don't waste my time on a whole lot of stuff like that either because t-shirt is more comfortable. A t-shirt is a 24-hour attire, y'all. And you can cut them. I've seen, even on the internet, but I've seen my daughter and her friends take a t-shirt and do cut it like they do in the store. Very stylish looking, y'all. But I ain't doing that. You know, I ain't going that far. I, I ain't got time for all that. That just ain't me. You know, I don't do that. But I'm just saying, I've seen people take a t-shirt and, you know, really do it. And it really looked nice, you know, to, to just cut the slits or something in the sleeves. And there's a lady, those people upstairs, I mean, they were still working on that same apartment. I ain't never known them to have to work in an apartment like that before. They must have really tore that apartment to shreds. So they've been working up there a long time. Because like I told you before, they get new New washer, new dryer, carpet, new stove, new everything up in that apartment. And it just ain't fair. I should get that stuff in. They didn't even finish my apartment yet. See that stuff, that oven right there? I'm just saying this for the uh, the AAG team. Because I don't think y'all ever really seen my kitchen. But there's two ovens in here. This oven, see this used to be the oven. Then they replaced and put this in here. But then they were supposed to take this oven out this is an oven take this oven out and add shelves in here and drawers you know to make it look I guess uniformed or you know look right because you know as you can see that doesn't even look right look at my fat self y'all okay I'll see my fat let's see if you can see me oh, I don't know how to do this I don't know uh, wait a minute maybe nope that ain't right there I am. See, this is what I was trying to show you. It really shows up on these pants because they're knit. I said, wow. And then I had no nerve to put on three pounds. But I'm not going to eat all that food that I showed you. You see all that food I showed you, that junk food? I don't know why I do it. Because in the middle of the night, <laughs> ain't no telling what might happen. If I can't sleep, ain't no telling what might go down up in here, y'all. <sighs> Might do some damage with those. Uh, I did open up one bag of those skins, though, I told you. I opened one bag, and I didn't eat them all. I just ate a few. I know how to control myself now. As a matter of fact, I bought myself some, uh, what do you call that stuff? The juice. Cranberry juice. That's some, ooh. You talking frowning and going... Like you just bit into a lemon or something. That juice, is, that was my first time having 100%. But I had the, uh, you know, the uh, gallon of the Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice. 
you know, like that. But see, that ain't nothing like the real McCoy. And the and what's so bad about it? The little, I think it's a, like a, I don't know if it's a pint or a quart. Let me see. Because I bought that last week. But I forgot about it. Till just now, when I kept it talking. My, my refrigerator ain't overwhelmed like it was. Let's see. I can't even get it out. This is, uh, wait till a minute now. What size is this? Uh, I don't know. That looks like, is it a 32? It doesn't look like it's big enough to be 32. It's 100%. Because my daughter was telling me, so, well, you know you got the wrong kind. That this is the wrong, right kind right here. And this little jar right here costs 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, it is 32. Because they say there's four servings in here. So I drank some two times since I had it. My nudes, that used to make milk too. And it says no sugar added. Boy, I believe y'all put some sour or something in it. But it said nothing, just, just cranberry juice. Just cranberry. Organic. No wonder I paid so much for it. Good googa moog. I didn't know it was organic. I don't believe in buying a whole lot of organic stuff myself. I really don't. Only thing I drink organic, organic milk. Because to me, it's better than the regular uh, milk. And it lasts longer. And, and, you know, because I live by myself, I got to get off here a little, y'all. I'm jibber-jabbing way too much. And the organic milk lasts a lot longer, you know. If you're living by yourself and you drink, you know, you eat cereal or use a lot of milk and stuff like that, that organic lasts a month, month and a half, two months it lasts. I got milk in there that's going to last until November the 19th. Go figure. But personally, it does taste, you know, your cereal tastes better with it. And even my daughter says her son, he's 13, and, and she says that he knows the difference when, she, you know, when she doesn't have the organic milk, that she gets the regular whole milk, you know, the vitamin D stuff, and he notices the difference. I do too, now. I really do. But on that note, y'all, I've been up here too long. 17 minutes. There's some, some noisy workers upstairs too, by the way. Let me, let me just throw that on there. I hope they see this video because they just play their music. It's like they're having a freaking party. They're supposed to be up there working. <laughs> on that note, I'll see you again soon.